What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanna show you guys how to install wet install vinyl. So this stuff is kind of what you would get off of Etsy or eBay. It's kind of kind of the lower end vinyl, so you have to install it wet apply because if you try to do dry implant on this stuff, it's, it's ridiculously hard. But I was just gonna bring you guys in. Obviously, you would center it and make sure it was straight. So we went off the body line here. This is six inches, six inches, and then an inch and an inch. Anytime you're lining up things, uh, you really want to find body lines that are straight with the vehicle so that you can line them up correctly. If you guys want a video on that, let me know. I'll make one for you. But um, we're going to go ahead and bring you guys in a little bit closer and install this uh, Rebel decal. All right, guys. So a couple things you're going to want to use is isopropyl alcohol. This is to clean the surface. We have a tack cloth here. That's to make sure all the debris is off of it. And we have the wet apply solution. So all this is, is a little bit of baby soap and some water, some distilled water. You want to use distilled water. You can use regular water, but... Um, we're just always used to using distilled water here. Then some tape, so you can tape it down, make sure you have it in the right spot. So make a hinge, and then you want a backing paper cutter, or you can just use scissors. This is just, we're a wrap shop, so this is what we do. Backing paper cutter, uh, highlighter, so that you can mark it out. This is gonna get washed away with the water, but it's nice to have some kind of placement. And then obviously a squeegee. So, like I said, we make our hinge here, and we're gonna give ourselves just a couple markers, just so that we know where we are at just like that again these are going to get washed away but it's better to have something than nothing especially if something goes wrong you always have a place to kind of pick back up okay so you're going to fold this down halfway pick this up And the way you can always tell if this is cheap vinyl or expensive vinyl is by the backing paper. The backing paper has some kind of markings on it. Orcal always has it. Avery 3M. All of their cut vinyl always has um, some kind of marking on it. This does not, so I don't know what we're working with. Um, but just one of those things when customer brings you stuff, don't warranty it, but. Try to do the best you can with it. Okay, take that off. Now, just in case this left any shavings, because it may have cut, you know, maybe the blade's not sharp or the scissors you're using aren't sharp, you want to use something like a tack cloth and wipe off any of the stuff that may have gotten on there. Like that. Now you'll take your slip solution or your wet apply solution. Spray the actual vinyl down. Like that. Spray the actual surface. And this is where your highlighter markers will start running, but it's all good. Kind of place it where you need to. And then you want to squeegee the water out. Like that. I'm pushing relatively hard. You want to try to get as much water as you can out the first time because if you don't, you'll have bubbles that stay behind. And this is uh, almost the same process you would do if it was a uh, process that you would do if it was dry apply. The only difference is, is the water. Although you can install dry apply, wet apply. Uh, most of the vinyls can do that. Um, it's just so much easier to work with dry apply vinyl. And this you can do, you can do dry apply, but with a, a complicated, uh, like a complex decal like this, it's better to do wet apply. Now this one, since you already got the top tacked, you just kind of want to let it hang. And this is where you're going to do overlapping squeegee strokes and try to get as much water as you can out the first time.
And by going left to right, you're taking the vinyl and making it stretch out that way so that you don't run into wrinkles right here. You always want to work left to right. Or you can work up and down, but you want to work up and down this way. The length of the detail. If you don't, you're going to screw yourself. That's pretty much it. Um, it's on there, now we gotta remove the cap on it. Uh, I would let it dry just for a little bit before you try to actually remove the cap. Don't get kind of uh, anxious and just rip it off all at once. Um, it's cold in my shop, it's about, well actually it's about 72 in here, but it's not too bad anymore. So this will probably stick relatively easy, or relatively good. Um, what I'm gonna do is let it sit here for about 10, 15 minutes, come back and remove it, and uh, we should be good to go. All right guys, so it's been about 10 minutes, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. All right guys, that's pretty much it. So now I'm gonna hit it with alcohol real quick, wipe off everything, make it look clean. I'm gonna go over it with heat here in a minute once it dries just a little bit longer, uh, just to make sure if, when you hit it with heat, you'll know if there's bubbles or wrinkles or anything like that, or you can get wrinkles out with heat. Uh, but for right now, it looks pretty clean. All right guys, so that's the end of this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys on the next one. One more thing, if you wanna see what's going on on this side of the shop, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, because we're going to be posting this full video in about two weeks. Thanks.